Good evening. Welcome to Compline. There we go. Ah, let's um, take a moment and make ourselves aware of God's presence in our midst. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. <clears throat> Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. If you would please join me on page 131. Uh, sing together Psalm 134. Behold now, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the holy place and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth bless you out of Zion. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me. For I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night, for the love of your only Son, our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. O oh God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those, both night and day, 
who work while others sleep. And grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now I invite your prayers of intercession and thanksgiving. Thank you, gracious God, for this beautiful day, for the warmth of the sun and the pretty sky and the birds chirping and the squirrels running and the birds flying and the flowers blooming. Thank you for the signs of life, of new life all around us. And as we stay in our homes, for the most part, help us to notice the ways that the spring of new life is bursting forth in our own lives. Give us your grace that we may see Christ in others, that our hearts may be gentle toward one another, that we will extend generous grace. to our friends, our families, our neighbors, those whom we encounter in the stores or um, driving generous grace and mercy to our leaders who are doing the best that they can. Thank you for the hard work that everyone is doing at home and in the workplace. Thank you for first responders, for police, firefighters, sheriff's, sheriff's office, um, for paramedics, for doctors, nurses, surgeons, anesthesiologists, um, for those in hospitals and long-term care facilities that prepare food and serve food and do laundry and help others get from place to place. for home health care workers, for pharmacists, for border control and turnpike ticket takers, and all manner of people. We ask that you would protect them from COVID-19 and for those in our community whom we know or are connected to, especially Rachel, Anne, Michelle, Tom, Mark, Pam, Don, D, 
David, Mike, Angela, Kyleen, and Sarah. We pray for all of those uh, who have COVID-19. We pray for their healing and their comfort, especially Tish, who is doing miraculously well. For John, Colleen, Gwen, Jason, Rory, Wesley, Rebecca, Baby Meadow, Todd, Barb, and Don. And for the Bay County Medical Care Facility, for residents and, and employees, and for the three employees who have been diagnosed with COVID-19. God, we know that your perfect love casts out fear. And so we invite you into our lives, into our hearts, into our beings, into our homes. May your perfect love, which casts out fear, fill us and surround us and give us that peace and comfort that we only find in you and in your gentleness. May those of us praying together and those of us who are um, living throughout the world we ask this, we ask for peace in our souls, that we may extend that peace to others. For in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen.